Hey guys, it's Jacob Room the Funko here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got an epic Grail Mail mystery box. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, welcome back guys. So here is the mystery box from Grail Mail, as you can see there. So I'm not actually going to start with this one. I'm going to start with this mystery box, which is from Pop Figures. And uh, I don't have any details on this one. I don't think I actually created an account with Pop Figures. And when I went to go check my emails for it, I didn't really have much on it. I just had sort of the description of how much it costs and stuff. So uh, yeah, this was seven pounds. Not sure on the hits, but it's seven pounds. So if I get a common, you know, it's fine. Uh, it's kind of like a, a low risk high reward mystery box. I think they did include some hits for memory. But anyway, let's just check out, see if we've got something cool. My guess is probably just gonna be a common pop. Uh, and yeah, so, uh, it's in a little bubble wrap. You guys may have seen that just then. Uh, is that in a protector? It's in a protector, so that's quite cool. That might be a good sign. Uh, and I think it's in a, feels like it's in a seven bucks a pop pop protector, but I'm not entirely sure. Right, so the seven pound pop figures mystery, uh, mystery box is Orlando Calrissian. Uh, so yeah, definitely just a common. Uh, yeah, Orlando's pretty cool, pretty cool character. Uh, I've always liked his character in the Star Wars films. And uh, yeah, that's nothing too much to say about him. He's pretty cheap. We'll quickly check his price on Pop Press Guide uh, real quick, just to see how much he is. So Lando is five pounds on the pop directory, so lost like two quid. And also just realized it wasn't a seven bucks a pop pop protector, it's actually one of their own. So if you guys can see that, there's their logo on top, which is really cool. Uh, I'd love to get my own pop protectors, that'd be amazing. So yeah, uh, not a great pop, but you know what? There's only seven pounds, so I thought it'd be worth the, uh, worth the punt. So that is Lando. And anyway, let's get into the main event of this video. So this is the Grail Mail mystery box. Now let's just get up these details. So this was the Star Wars Marvel mystery box. So obviously two lines that I absolutely adore. And uh, this was £31.99 plus shipping. I can't remember what the shipping cost was. But there was a full list of what you could get in the box. So there was like 20 to 30 of certain pops. So I know there's, there's a lot of Winter Soldiers with the no arm. The Aura Singh Smuggler's Bounty, the Sebulba Smuggler's Bounty, and yeah, so the cheapest pop that you could get was the Winter Soldier with the no arm. There's 30 of those in this run, uh, but the main ones that, that I'm looking for, I'll show you a little glam shot they kind of had, so I'll show you that now. And uh, yeah, as you can see, General Grievous, Qui-Gon Jinn, the two big boys in this run, and uh, yeah, Tony Stark holding the helmet, it's a pretty nice one, that count is worth quite a bit. Stonekeeper is one pop that's always eluded me. It was the last one I needed for my Infinity War collection when I used to collect that. It's a really nice pop. I'd definitely keep that one actually if I got that. And yeah, small round, some decent pops in this run. I thought this would be worth the risk as well because even if you get the Wind Soldier of No Arm, it's still a decent pop. Uh, you've only lost, you know, well, I guess you've lost half your money, so it's not great. But uh, yeah, for the chance to get one of these General Grievances and uh, the Qui-Gon Jinn, it's definitely worth the the risk because the TPD value for the Qui-Gon Jinn is £445. So these were the prices on the 11th of September. Uh, and yeah, also you've got the James Rhodes STCC 2013, the 480 pieces San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. That one is amazing. That's worth over £200. We've got a couple there for over £100. So yeah, some really awesome pops in this run to be won. Obviously the odds are against me to uh, get one of those cheaper pops or like lose most of my money. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's just find out what we've got. Uh, imagine if we've got that quite gone. 400 pounds and a 30 pound mystery box, that's just crazy. And I will mention before I quickly unbox it, this is very weighted, this box. So it's I can feel it's in a lot of bubble wrap. And uh, it could be, it could be in a stack. So I'm actually really forward to seeing what this is, because I don't know if it's two. It can't be two pops. No, it's got to be one. This, this is in so much bubble wrap. It's literally bomb proof. I doubt they'd put this much bubble wrap over a Winter Soldier with no arm. So can we get our first stack of the channel? That would be amazing. I don't think, it, yeah, because General Grievous wasn't in a stack when I got him last time. He was in the pop protector because his price just shot up by the time I actually unboxed it. 
Oh my god, there's, there's so much bubble wrap. Oh my god, this has got to be a good hit. Has to be. Okay. It's in a stack. It's in a stack, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm halfway through getting this bubble wrap undone. Oh my god. It feels like it's in one of the... Okay, I've, I've taken the top of it off. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get this... So you can see here, it's in one of the new magnetic um, seven bucks of pop, pop protectors. Oh my god. Okay, I'll put it back on. <sighs> I'm shaking. What is it gonna be? If this is Qui-Gon Jinn, I'm gonna freak out. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, look at this. 2,000 piece Qui-Gon Jinn in the seven bucks of pop, pop protector. This is the first stack of the show. Oh, this is, this is insane. Got a little sticker there. Oh my god, this is definitely the best hit out of all my mystery boxes. This is insane. Even the stack, it's just beautiful. Oh my god, I'm actually in shock, guys. This doesn't happen. As you guys will all know, this does not happen very often. I do not get the YouTuber uh, Funko Pop luck that a lot of other YouTubers do. Sorry, I'll give you guys a better spin of Qui-Gon, I'm just kind of freaking out a little bit. Uh, I definitely know several people that are gonna get jealous of this this bad boy right here. Uh, look at that. I don't, know, I don't know whether I'm gonna keep it. From one terrible Star Wars pop to another. Uh, sorry Lando, but you've been, you've been outplayed by, uh, by Qui-Gon Jinn here. The uh, 2000 pieces New York Comic Con, the 2016 New York Comic Con exclusive. Just look at that bad boy. That is insane. Oh, and I actually really wanted to uh, buy some of these stacks. So as you can see, it's like magnetic at the top. Which is pretty cool. I'm actually going to get this guy out. Give you a better look at him. Oh my god. Look at that. Jesus, okay, I'm going to put him back in the stack now. That is insane. £31.99 I just bought this Qui-Gon for. £30. Pounds. Insane. So uh, yeah, let's quickly check the value for this Qui-Gon Jinn. Uh, I'm definitely still in shock, guys. Uh, I don't know if my reaction was good enough for this pop. I don't know how good my reaction was. I was kind of just more in shock because I kind of knew that I was getting a really good pop as I was trying to get rid of the bubble wrap. But as you can see, guys, like the amount of bubble wrap that was in this pop, uh, it had this fragile tape all on it, and it was just so hard to get into. Uh, so yeah, obviously amazingly well packaged, and uh, yeah, just uh, just got the price up for Qui Gon Jinn. Uh, he is four hundred and seventeen pounds. So uh, yeah, he actually has gone down a little bit, but obviously I'm not going to complain there. Uh, yeah, absolutely sensational pop, and uh, yeah, I would definitely be ordering from this company again. This is why I'm excited to try new UK mystery boxes because. Not only did this, this actually cost me £30, uh, I got a massive hit from it. So obviously you guys know I buy a lot of mystery boxes from the US. Uh, the price I pay, obviously when converted to, to pounds, it's cheaper, but I have to pay a lot of shipping and customs charge. So uh, yeah, this is just, uh, this is a proper win for me. And I'm absolutely, as you guys can probably tell, I'm very happy with this pool. Yeah, so cool. I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah, uh, so that was it. These were the two pops I got for this video, uh, Little Lando and the big boy, Qui-Gon Jinn. So uh, yeah, that is uh, everything for today. I'm probably going to keep this one uh, in my collection, uh, but yeah, it could be a top hit for a future mystery box, but yeah, we'll have to uh, wait and see. I do regret selling my Grievous, so uh, yeah, this one might stay in my collection, but if not, stay tuned for my mystery boxes. And uh, saying that, check out my regular mystery boxes that I do sell on my Brimley Funko official store. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I definitely did. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can get notified when my videos go live. And yeah, I'll catch you next one.